guys, welcome back. Today I have a what's in my bag slash a handbag review. If you know me in real life, you'll know that I am obsessed with handbags. My obsession definitely comes in waves though. Recently it's been a little more low key. However, I am eyeing this bag that I just need in my life. But today's attention is all on my Givenchy and Tigna. This is my ride or die bag. I know everyone and their mom has this bag now. Like, I don't understand. It's like kind of annoying because every what's in my bag video or like handbag reveal video is on the Tigna. And I've had this bag for like two years now. Like, it's been a while. So I want to say I'm like one of the first ones, even though this handbag's been popular way before then. Anyway, so this video will be a what's in my bag. So we can go through all the little things that I carry inside my handbag. But also toward the end of the video, I want to talk about my repair experience. I did kind of ruin this bag because I'm just not like a per careful person. So I've kind of ruined it. And I'll show close-ups of like where exactly the repair is going to be done. But essentially, they're going to re replace my entire handle area. So yeah, I'll talk about all of that towards the end of the video. So let's get into what's in my bag. First of all, I have this bag in the medium size. There are, I think there's, I think there's, yeah, there's a larger size and then there is a small size. And then they just recently came out with the mini size, which is super cute, guys. If you like mini bags, you should totally get it. But this is the medium size and I got it in the smooth calf skin. So there's like a grained goat skin. I'm pretty sure there's also grained calf skin as well, but I don't really know. And then there's also the smooth, like the shiny, almost patent looking leather, but this is not that. This is like the matte black. Unlike other um, Antigna bags, this has lost a lot of its stiffness and a lot of its boxiness and shape. And I personally kind of like that actually. I don't really like it being this such bulky bag. So I kind of do like how it gave a little bit. The leather is, you know, a little bit more soft and it's it looks aged, but I don't mind that at all. I don't really care for the shape that much. And as long as it has like these wing side shapes, I don't really care the leather looks softer or anything like that. The hardware is the um, pale gold uh, hardware. It's not, you know, very yellow gold at all. So it's like a little bit pale. When you open the bag, it looks like a huge hole, right? And then there's like a zipper compartment back here. I'm sure you've seen this a billion times because everyone has this bag. And then two compartments here. In the back, in the zipper compartment, I have my, um, this is my Louis Vuitton like key pouch. I really like this little thing. I actually got this from my boyfriend this past Christmas. It's super pretty. It's it's um in the vernis le leather and it's in the color griot, I think. It's their newer color. You can't really see it on camera, but it has very very fine micro shimmers under a certain lighting so it's so gorgeous it's like ox blood color oh i love this thing it's so pretty so originally i wanted the um, canvas um key pouch and i didn't want to buy it because for a canvas like piece a little piece like that it's 200 dollars. i just didn't think it was worth it my boyfriend surprised me with this you know vernis version which is bigger and obviously pricier than the canvas version so i really like this and inside i just keep all my keys um like from to my mailbox it has a little has a little chain here but nothing really fits in there so I don't really use that I keep my keys and then like these like magnet things to enter my building and office building and things like that and then in the back here I just keep my ID which I won't show on camera I just keep my ID one credit card and my metro card in here just for easy access so if I have to go anywhere this is really all I need it has my ID has money and it has my metro card and my keys I love this thing so pretty so next to my key in the back compartment, I have my phone. This is the iPhone 6 Plus, and I just got this case today. I love this case because um, for the longest time, I had the official iPhone 6 Plus case in the pink leather, like the really pale pink leather. That one sucks, guys. Don't get that one. Like the the um, sides of it just kept rubbing off, and it's just like a terrible phone case. So I saw this on Amazon, and thought it was super cute. So I picked this up. Now moving on to like the two compartments over here, I have like in the small compartment I have my hand sanitizer. This is from so long ago. I actually don't really like these and I, I should probably take this out because I don't even use this. It's because the scent is too strong, like I hate it. 
it's it's a lingering scent and if you put it on like five miles around you can smell it I just don't like that I'm actually gonna take that out and never use that and then next to that I have my Chanel compact I don't really carry makeup with me on a day-to-day -day basis I don't like to touch up my makeup or anything so I carry this with me I just carry this for the mirror purpose because I like it being a Chanel compact I think it's really cute when you're like you know touching up in public with a Chanel compact is that really shallow? I don't even care. In the same compartment, I have a little pouch. This is just like my random jewelry that I sometimes like to take off. There's just like a bunch of stuff in there. Because sometimes I'm like wearing earrings like in the middle of the day or at night and I just don't feel comfortable or something and it's just like hurting me. I just take it off and put it in this little pouch. So that's everything in those compartments. Now let's get into the bulk of this entire bag. Uh, first thing I see, I have this... I have two like things. This is the playbill from the play my boyfriend and I went to. This is called the play was Fish in the Dark. It's um, a play written and produced by Larry David, whom if you don't know, he was the producer of Seinfeld, and he is a hilarious guy. He produced Seinfeld. He also produced a show that he starred in on HBO called Curb Your Enthusiasm. If you haven't seen it, I completely recommend it. It's like just like the most funny, awkward like TV show you'll ever see. It's just like ridiculous. It's like actually ridiculous. That's like the one word that I would describe it with. So yeah, it was really good. I have to say we were like probably the only Asian people there. Everyone was like white and probably Jewish because he's Jewish and a lot of his humor is Jewish. I also have this Victoria's Secret uh, pamphlet in here just because there's some coupons in here I need to take out and put it in my wallet. But yeah, I mean, look at this stuff. Sexy. Okay. So I just recently started doing this, but I don't actually put anything in my bag directly anymore. I have these little Ipsy bags because, like, what am I going to do with this little ba these little bags besides, like, storing stuff, you know? So I put things in the Ipsy bags and then I put it in my bag so nothing really gets lost in the deep, dark corners of my bag. Anyway, so before going to that, I have this little thing. This is from Burberry, I think. My mom actually gave this to me, but it's just a card holder. So I have all my business cards in there, and then I have some business cards I have from clients. So yeah, I have this little thing. It's kind of old looking, but it's kind of um within the same theme of this color. So I like it, so I keep it. So along with small leather goods, I guess I would go into my wallet. This is a Miu Miu wallet. It's a full-sized, I don't even know what these are called, like the, you know, yeah. I wouldn't recommend this wallet or like things of this um, like material from Miu Miu or Prada. I know Prada doesn't do this exact um, leather, but I just personally didn't have good experiences with Miu Miu or Prada small leather goods. I have Prada shoes and they work perfectly, they're really good, but for like small leather goods, I just don't like it. If you look at the edges of this, you can see some wear and this happened like not long after I got these. So I don't know, for like a $500 or $400 wallet, that should never happen, even though like I could go back and get this fixed. I'm just too lazy and I haven't gotten the chance, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it, but um, at the time, I thought it was really cute. Um, so yeah, it's just like two big compartments here and then my card holders. Um, what else? What's interesting here? I have these um, AMC tickets. Because I live in New York City and each movie ticket is like $14.50, $14.50, which is fucking ridiculous, I get these AMC tickets from Costco.com. They come in a pack of 10 and they're like less than $90. So each ticket comes out to be, you know, like $9. I'm not paying $14.50 for a movie ticket. I get these. And then I have my sunglasses in here. I got these as a birthday present from my boyfriend. And I am obsessed with these. These are really pretty. So they're from Dolce & Gabbana. And they kind of look insane. So that's what they look like. They're kind of like a cat eye. Kind of. Right? I don't know. I just really like these. Um, I just love the gold details on the side. The hardware details. I think they're a little different than just like your normal basic sunglasses. So I really like these. Yeah love. 
So then uh, all that's left in my bag are these Ipsy pouches. And I'll start with this one. I forget which month this is from. I think it might have been from last month, like March. But it's a woven texture. It's like kind of like fake, you know, bamboo-esque. Or maybe it is bamboo. I don't know. So I have the hand sanitizer that I actually use in here. This is the Purell, the green one. I like this one. Um, I have this. This is a Band-Aid... Uh, what is this called? Friction block. So instead of like, instead of band-aids, this is like a gel kind of thing. And you just rub on your heel or wherever you're having friction, like in your shoes, like on your feet. And it kind of alleviates the pain a little bit. So you don't have like a ugly band-aid showing through your shoes. And then I have some feminine products. Um, this I, I carry these around, especially when I'm on my period. These are the um, like individual wipes from summer's eve they are cleansing cloths so like if you're on your period and you don't feel fresh enough and you're in a public bathroom you can just clean yourself up with this it's really nice and then i have some random pills in there like from a cold that i had when i was on business trip so yeah that's that pouch again i like to keep everything in a pouch just in case like if this were to explode it wouldn't get all over my bags and get onto my other stuff you know Okay, next pouch. This is also an Ipsy pouch. They're all Ipsy pouches. And this is like my makeup stuff. These are all like lip products. But um, in this bag first though is my headache medicine because I get quite bad headaches a lot. And this is just the uh, store brand of the Exeteran medicine. And what really helps is the caffeine in this. So whenever I take this, my headache goes away. It's really nice, I like it. So for makeup, I don't carry anything except for an eyelash curler. I just think this makes the biggest difference, especially if you're um, like on a night out. This will make the biggest difference without like actually doing anything more to your face. So I have that. And then I have a hand lotion, like a travel size. This is probably from my Ipsy bag, um, but this has SPF in it. It's really important to have S put SPF on your hands because besides like your face and your neck, where you'll show like the most aging is on your hands. So it's really, really important to put SPF on your hands so you don't get like dark spots or anything like that. If you care about aging, that is. If you don't care, then YOLO. So then the rest of this is just lip products. I guess I'll start with this. This is what I have on my lips today. And this is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Caring Coral. So it looks like that. I love this lipstick. It's so good. Drugstore lipsticks. I love it. And then I have two of these sugar lip balms. I think that they're like actually lip balms from Fresh. These things are amazing. Like... I don't think they're actually that moisturizing, however, if you put it on your lips, they look really juicy and moisturized, and the color is great. It has the most natural finish onto your lips, but it just looks really amazing. I got this in a set during like Christmas, and I have them in the colors, I think this one's called Petal, so it's like a nudie, it was a nude set that I got, so there's that, and then one of my favorite, this is in the shade Rosé. Look, it's almost done. I'm really sad. I might purchase the full size of this, but it's like the full size of this is like 20 some dollars for a lip balm. I'm really stingy. Don't want to buy that. And then I have lip gloss in here. This is by Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. These lip gloss formulas are one of my favorites. They're so good. They're so, so good. It smells like peppermint a little bit. It feels amazing. It's just perfect. And then I have my one of my favorite MAC lipsticks in here. Yeah, I know I have a lot. This is in the shade Patisserie. It's a luster finish. It looks like this. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude color. Love it. Final lip product, I promise. This is the YSL. What is this? Tint in Oil. I got this for my birthday. This thing is amazing. Personally, I would never buy this because it's like literally just a sheer oil that you put on your lips and it's like probably $50. I don't know, like $40 or $30. So I would never spend the money on this, but I got it as a gift. But I have to say I love it. It really brings out like the prettiest undertones in your natural lip color. And when you wear this, you don't look like you're wearing any makeup. However, your lips look gorgeous. So I really do like this, even though it's probably like ass expensive. I don't know if I'll repurchase though because I feel like I'm baited now.
Like I would never buy it myself and I would have been fine without it, but now that I've had it, I probably can't live without it. Okay, final bag in here. Um, this is where I would use, usually keep my camera. However, I'm filming with my camera right now, but I have the charger and then also my headphones in here. Um, yeah, I keep my camera in here in case I want to vlog. So that's everything in my bag. As you can see, it's completely empty now. And now I will talk a little bit about like what I did to the bag and how it's ruined and my entire experience in getting the request for a repair and everything like that. The most wear I got on this bag is around the handles. And like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm super not cautious with handbags and that's just completely my fault. Luxurious handbags, obviously, it's really high maintenance. You can't keep it under the direct sunlight. In the winter months, when the weather was really harsh here in New York, I never really took care of it, and I kind of just left it in the sun whenever it was under the sun. I didn't like purposely put it under the sun or anything, but I never paid attention to it. So there are a lot of cracks around my handles. So I'll show you close-ups, but like, there's just like a lot of cracks. And I used to overstuff this bag so badly. I used to put my laptop in here, which I have a Mac Air 13 inch. It's not like the heaviest uh, laptop ever, but I did like stuff it in there. And I would stuff a lot more things. I used to carry this to school. So yeah, I just didn't take good care of it at all. So the handle in the front here, like if you can see in the back, the handles here are completely fine, right? You can't, like, there's nothing here. But if you look at the front, this one is fine. This one's a little bit, like, wrinkled. But this one, you can tell, like, inside it's completely, like, broken. It's not completely broken, but you can see there's, like, a little kink in there. And the handle inside, like, inside the leather, whatever the part that's inside the leather, you can see there, it's, like, it's bent. And probably, likely, broken. So... I'm getting this entire handle replaced, which will fix this problem and also fix the leather cracking of the entire handbag. Other than that, everywhere else looks really good. Even the bottom of the bag, which, you know, I put this back on the floor. I put it like on raw ground. Yeah, I'm just stupid, but like, like you can't, like there are barely any scratches. That's what I'm saying. This is like my ride or die bag. It's just so resistant. Besides the fact that the handles are dying, but like it's just so good. I would, I love this bag so much. I don't think I would ever sell it. So that's one of the reasons I love purchasing from high-end brands because it's really a purchase for life. It's not something you would use for a couple of seasons and toss out. It's just a classic piece that you'll always be able to have and get it repaired and just have forever. The process that I reached out to their headquarters, because I live in New York City and there's no Givenchy um, boutique in New York City, there's only like Barney's or wherever they sell it, like from their counters. Um, so I had to email them, so I contacted them through their official website and they replied to me and they got some more information, they got some pictures and then they are arranging for someone to come pick it up and then they will place the handle and they'll send it back to me. So I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos. I do upload every Tuesday and Friday. So let me know if you wanna see other handbag reviews and or a handbag collection video. So yeah, that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. To face, so I will be testing and seeing if it works better with a beauty blender or a brush. When you open it, it is a kind of a, it's like a fake droplet almost. It's not like a squeezy actual droplet. It is extremely thin. It's almost like water and it disappears into nothing. Everyone's not gonna believe you. They're all gonna think that I forced you to say that. You didn't make me say that. I said that on my own.